Yes, it's another one brand small business wash day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And the brand I'm going to use today is another small business. So it's JSL Essentials and it's a UK based woman owned small business. And um, I only recently heard about these products through Curly Cooper on Instagram, another curly hair content creator. She's a lovely lady, also based in the UK. And she has been going on about these products because her hair, similar to mine, likes quite a lot of protein and her hair loves these. So I've been hearing her talk about them and I was thinking, hmm, interesting. And then the lovely Katie who owns the brand reached out to me and said, could she send me her products? So these are gifted, but this is not sponsored. So I thought I'd give those products a try today. Now, actually already washed my hair yesterday. I washed my hair yesterday afternoon and I used the shampoo and conditioner. I've got the soothing shampoo. It's got lavender, geranium and Mei Chang. Sounds like somebody's name. And the conditioner, also lavender, geranium and Mei Chang. And can I just say, they smell incredible you know sometimes when you use a product in the shower and you're like oh my goodness it feels like a spa well that's what these were like to me they just smell absolutely delightful they were lovely to use so what i am doing is basically a wash now style later um i've used these as i say to already wash my hair and now i'm going to do style later part so basically i'm going to re-wet my hair and style all i did yesterday is actually looking okay considering all i did yesterday was shampoo and condition and uh, then I squeezed out as much of the water as I could with like my microfiber towel. And then I added a tiny bit of the leave-in hair cream, just like that much, just to like prevent tangles and things. But I'm going to go and use it more like a styler today. The first thing I need to do is re-wet my hair. So I've got my trusty spray bottle. Um, and I do love doing wash now style later. I've got quite a number of videos where I'm doing wash now style later. Um, it works well for me when I'm creating content because I can get the like the washing and conditioning out the way the day before and then it leaves me more time when I have time for filming it leaves me more time for the styling and the part that I'm more likely to film which is the styling and the drying and everything um, but it can just be really practical especially if you wash your hair at night wash now style later can be really practical for that because you can literally just have your shower wash and condition your hair and then either air dry it or give it a quick blast with a hair dryer diffuser or whatever um, and it dries really fast because there's no products in it. It's the products that makes your hair take longer to dry. I find in mine anyway, it dries so much quicker when it's product free. When you're ready to the next day or even a couple of days later, if you've got then something you want your hair styled for, you just re-wet it and then style. So it can work super, super well if you have an event, um, say like you've got a wedding to go to or something, wash your hair the day before and then the morning of the wedding, all you have to do is re-wet it, style it, and you've got wash day curls without the time spent actually washing and conditioning, etc. I also find that my hair dries faster when I do wash now style later. And I think that's because even if I get the hair pretty wet, the roots don't get as wet, like your scalp doesn't get as wet, the, the hair next to your scalp. So it definitely does seem to speed it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish wetting my hair down. Now, of course, if you don't have or don't want to use a spray bottle, or if you want your hair really soaking wet, you can just go and re-wet it like under the tap or in the shower or whatever you want to do. Um, mine is fairly wet. I would say it's definitely dripping wet at the bottom. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm just trying to make sure that the top layer is wet enough. Um, and this is obviously me using these products for the first time. So I don't really know what I'm doing with them. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it and see. Um, but I was really impressed at how my hair came out before I wet it. I meant to say how impressed I was with how it came out just with the shampoo and conditioner and a tiny bit of the leave-in cream. Now, one of the things that um, really did intrigue me about these, oh, sorry, just don't mind me. Just got all my shed hair here, I'm just getting that out of the way. One of the things that intrigued me about these products is that Victoria Curly Cooper on Instagram, she, um, her hair like mine loves protein and she said these pro these products have quite a significant amount of protein in them. So that quite excites me. Um, I'm gonna use, what am I gonna use? That much, <laughs> two and a half pumps of that leave-in cream. Oh, it smells so nice. You know, like when you go into a garden center and they have really expensive, fancy smelling, like hand soaps and body lotions. Mm, that's what it smells like. Spa, spa smells, it's lovely. Super nice, but very natural smelling, not like a heavy 
perfumed sort of smell that's going to give you a headache. It's just a natural smell, I think, just from the natural ingredients. Okay, so I'm just raking that through. Feels lovely in my hair. Nice and soft, but not too soft, if that makes sense. My fine hair girls will know what I mean by that. <laughs> so easy for fine hair to become over conditioned or the term we sometimes use is over moisturized, but it's really more over conditioned. It's more that it gets too conditioned and too soft from all the conditioning ingredients that we use. And also um, from soft water, I live in a soft water area and my hair obviously gets, gets soft from that as well. So it needs a little bit of grit and um, that's one of the ways that protein can help. My goodness, I am shedding like a hairy dog today. My goodness, I am covered in hair. <laughs> that is, yeah, the glamorous side of uh, curly hair content creating. Oh, no, that's the shampoo. Really don't want to put the shampoo in right now. That's the hair mist. I'm looking for the gel. Do you know what? I've just realised there's no gel. For some reason, I assumed that there was a gel in the collection. And now that I'm saying that, I'm remembering that when I spoke to the lady, Katie, who owns this, she said she's coming out with a gel soon, but she just hasn't hasn't done it yet. So this is not going to be a complete one, one brand wash day because I really feel like I want to give my hair a bit more than just a cream. So I'm going to go grab a gel and I'll be right back. So we've gone for a, a tried and true, well-trusted Giovanni LA Hold Gel. Now I know this is a decent stronghold gel. Um, so I know that my hair, excuse you, I know that my hair loves this gel. Um, so it should give the other products, you know, the best chance of working. So I'm just gonna rake it through to start with. This is a brilliant gel, by the way, the Giovanni Ellie Hold. If your hair suffers in the humidity or um, in the dampness. So I live in Scotland, as you probably know, in the Highlands of Scotland, and it is wet here most of the year. And in the summer when it's hot, it's humid, hot. It is just always damp. There's no dry heat at all or dry cold, it's always damp. So sometimes um, using something that contains humectants like glycerin, which sucks in moisture from the air and from your surroundings, although that can be a good thing for your hair, it can also be a bad thing because if you live in a very damp or humid place, the glycerin can suck too much moisture into your hair and it can really just cause it to fluff up. Or, you know, if you go outside and it's really damp, even if your hair looks good inside and it just goes poof, that happens to me quite a lot. And this gel is one of my favorite for combating that because it's glycerin free and um, it's a really strong hold. So I find it, it just works great summer and winter in my hair. This gel is an absolute favorite. Okay, there we go. I think I'm just gonna do some praying hands to reclump. I don't think I'm gonna use a brush today. I think I am just going to go without. I did that last time I went without a brush and I really quite enjoyed the difference, like the slightly less uniform curls. It was a bit wilder and I enjoyed that. So I'm going to use my hands in the same way that I would with a brush by raking my hair up and out from the scalp. Um, it's not likely to be too flat to the scalp because it's a wash now style later and the hair right at the scalp is not soaking, soaking wet. So it's less likely to be flat anyway. So now I'm going to do an absolute ton of scrunching. I really do find, and I think it's my curl pattern, that scrunching makes a huge, huge difference to my hair, to my curls. And um, spending a decent amount of time scrunching my hair will have a direct impact on how my curls look once it's dry. And for me, really, the more scrunching, the better. It really does encourage my curl clumps and it encourages my hair to curl more from the root. So I'm just doing what I would, what I termed as flip styling, which is going back and forward, flipping your head over in every direction and scrunching. It helps distribute the product, but it also just is gonna give you volume and curl definition. And it's a really, really good option, especially if you're not doing brush styling. Okay, I'm gonna flip forward. Okay, so I think that's just about us. So I'm gonna just go ahead and diffuse that and we will see, we'll see how it turns out. So my hair's dry and I decided to do something. 
I had no intention of doing this when I started this video, but my hair was dry and the roots just, after what I was saying about my roots not going to be flat, they were a little flat. So I grabbed my Curl Keeper root clips, which I've had for a really long time, but not used very often. And I've just sort of grabbed sections next to my scalp and clipped them. Sort of clipped them up and away. So I'm going to, it looks like, almost looks like a giant version of like the, the 2000s butterfly clips, you know, we used to pull our hair back in butterfly clips, almost looks like that. But I'm gonna just let my hair settle like that. Like I said, it's already dry. I am just gonna leave it for five, 10 minutes like this. And then I'll come back and we'll take them out and we'll see what we've got. Okay, I think that's been about 10 minutes. I mean, I was scrolling TikTok, so realistically it could have been three hours, but I think it was 10 minutes. So let's take them out. What I like about them is they open up so wide and they've got this sort of rounded shape and they don't get stuck in your hair. You know, I've, I've used different claw clamps. Obviously you can use any claw clip to do this. Um, but sometimes they get stuck in your hair. These don't. And they come in a big pack of like, I think is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. They come in a pack of eight, which is good because it's plenty to do your whole head. Got one more at the back. Right. And you don't have to worry about them getting lost in your hair either because they're massive. Okay, oh, oh, hang on. Ah. <laughs> what did I just say about them not getting lost in your hair? I missed one. So I think it must be a pack of 10 and there's probably still one in there. So I'm gonna give my hair a flip and a fluff. And I do recommend if you're gonna root clip to do it towards the end of your drying time. If you put it in soaking wet hair, it just sort of stops the hair from actually drying. But, whoa, look at that. <sighs> Hold on, let me get a bit closer. Okay. Nice. I'm liking how that looks. And I do think that those clips definitely helped with volume. We'll see how well the volume lasts. But yeah, liking that. Let's do a little 360. Not like over fluffing it, because I'm just, I'm a terror for over fluffing my hair on wash day. And over fluffing your hair on wash day is gonna lead to slightly less long lasting results. So I'm gonna try and keep my hands out of my hair, but it is not one of my strengths. It's a toxic trait of mine. My hands are always in my hair. <laughs> but yeah, I'm liking it. What's the sky doing? He doesn't know, but that's okay. He's skinny, he can, he can hide. Look. What's he called again? Sawyer the Annoyer has switched directions. How bizarre is that? He has always, always curled away from my face as long as I can remember. And all of a sudden, look at this. What is with that? I, I, I'm, I'm completely baffled by that. I thought it was maybe just a weird coincidence last wash day, um, but it's not. But I'm happy because he is not only switched directions, but he appears to be curlier. So he's always, he's always a giant pain and doesn't want to curl, but you yeah. know, he's over here, switched sides and living his best life. So thanks Sawyer for behaving. <laughs> but I, anybody know why, why that happened? <laughs> I have had it happen on one or two curls. In general, my hair on this side of my head, all curls this way, forwards and the hair on this side of my head all curls that way. Um, so basically, it actually all curls the same direction. It all curls that way, like all the way around my head, if that makes sense. By the time it gets here, obviously, like they're all facing one direction. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing a terrible job of explaining what I mean, but I think you'll get what I mean. Um, but yeah, this guy's just decided he's, he's uh, bucking the trend. And I have got one in here which goes a different way can't remember exactly where it is, but I have had it happen with smaller sections of hair before that they've changed direction, but I was not expecting it to happen right at the front there. So yeah, how strange. <laughs> anyway, back to the results of the JSL Naturals products. My hair feels absolutely gorgeous. It feels strong. It feels, um, you can tell the products have got protein because it's definitely got that like grittier feel, which I like. And if my hair feels too soft, it can feel lovely, but it feels like it's just gonna go boom and just go limp and give up the curl, give up the ghost. 
whereas it doesn't feel like it's going to do that. It's definitely, um, the curls feel nice and strong. I've got some good definition. Look at that, see? Great ringlets under there with no brush styling, as you saw. Really, really good, really pleased with that. So I will see you guys soon.